and welcome to our latest Smash Up video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the robots faction, and we'll walk you through all of the minions and actions associated with the robots. And then we'll talk a little bit about strategy too. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so first we'll talk about the um, robot minions and then actions. We have to talk about the minions on this one because this is pretty special. It's way different than all of the other factions in that it has only two actions and the rest of the cards in the 20 card deck, all 18 of them, are minions. Yeah. So robots, um, they're unusual in the, the core game for that um, because most um, factions in Smash Up have a structure of 10 minions and 10 actions. Um, that's not universally true. That There's some additional factions that also break that mold. But the robots are the ones um, that do that in the base game. So um, maybe we should start with some of the, the Power 1 um, minions. Because, of course, r the robot faction, they have a lot of small, wimpy um, minions of just Power 1 or 2. But because of their special abilities, they can very rapidly get much more powerful than they than they might seem. They kind of remind me of the replicators on uh, Stargate. Stargate, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're microbots, and there are uh, five different types of microbots. There's the microbot reclaimer. Um, th if this is the first minion you play this turn, you may play an extra minion. Shuffle any number of microbots from your discard pile into your deck. Which is pretty powerful, actually. Yeah, it, it is. Um, especially a little bit later in the game, once you have a bunch of micro, microbots either out or you know in your discard pile or whatever. Yeah. So then we have the microbot fixer. Um, if this is the first minion you played this turn, you may play an extra minion. So it's important that it's the first minion that you yeah. play. This is you know in in the case of you know the some bases you know that allow you to keep putting cards down. But this one says if this is the first minion you played this turn, and then maybe you play another microbot fixer, but that's not the first one you play. Whatever. Right. Um, anyway, ongoing for this one is each of your microbots gains a plus one power. Which is awesome, yes. because these are all only um, only a power of one, and so now all of your microbots have a, have a power of two. Now, um, let's, let's turn next to I, what I think is probably my favorite minion in the robots faction, which is the microbot alpha. It's only got a base power of one, which, you know, on the face of it doesn't seem that much, but here's, here's their abilities. So ongoing, they gain plus one power for each of your other microbots. And then all of your minions are considered microbots. I mean, if you think about that, that's extraordinarily powerful. Yeah. Um, especially when coupled with some of the other microbots in, yeah. in this faction. So um, then we have the microbot ar archive. Um, its ongoing ability is that after one of your microbots, uh, including this one, is destroyed, draw a card. Uh, so if any of them are destroyed, you know, you you grab a card, which could be really helpful um, because your entire deck is basically, you know, half of your deck is almost all made up of microbots or other um, robots. Yeah. And then finally, the microbot guard. Um, destroy a minion on this base with power less than the number of minions you have here. Um, and if you think about the way that the, the robots are structured, you may have a bunch of microbots on that um, base. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then... You know, you count up the number of microbots you have on that sure. base, and it could be a pretty significant number. Definitely. And then we've also got the um, the rest of the, the robot minions that are not microbots. So um, we'll start with the Zapbot, just the power of two. But again, you can play an extra minion of power two or less. So um, you know, this is an, an easy way of getting maybe another Zapbot or a microbot. Um, in play. Yeah, and if you can get a microbot in play that gives all of your, if you play the, the microbot alpha, then you gain a power one for each of your microbots and all of your, all of your um, minions are considered microbots. And keep in mind, all of your minions does not just mean all of your robots. Absolutely. I mean, whatever faction the robots are paired with, once you have that microbot alpha in play, everything is a microbot. Yeah. So then we've got the Hoverbot um, as a minion. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a minion, you may play it as an extra minion. Otherwise, return it to the top of, the top of your deck, which just gives you the ability to kind of see what's there, possibly get another minion out on the table as an extra, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're obviously sensing a powerful theme here with the robots, which is they have a lot of ways to get additional um, minions into play very rapidly. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Warbot, Power 4. 
And it, the, his ongoing ability is that he can't be destroyed. I mean, <laughs> you know, other abilities, um, other actions can affect the warbot, but he can't be outright destroyed. Sure. And then the final minion is the... Um, the nuke bot. Nuke bot, which has an ongoing action that after this minion is destroyed, destroy each other player's minions on this base. Yeah. It's a pretty powerful stuff. Which... It's the nuclear option. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so there's exactly one action, but two cards uh, that can be played on this base. Um, and the action is the tech center. Um, and the way that it works, choose a base, draw one card for each of your minions there. Yeah, I mean, so that works really nicely for the robots because they're likely to have a lot of small minions yeah. on the base. So let's talk about the two bases. Yeah, so we've got um, uh, the breakpoint of 25, which is, you know, extremely high. Um, factory 436-1337, and then um, the breakpoint base of 19, the central brain. Um, that one's got a victory point structure of 421. Um, the 25-point factory, that's a 221 victory point structure. So the central brain, um, I, I like this one. It, it helps all players. But each minion here has plus one power. Yeah. So it's that, very helpful. Yeah, it's very helpful. And if, you know, that especially helps um, factions that are able to generate a lot of small minions. Exactly. I mean, as we've, as we've said in other, um, in other po uh, videos, um, you know, the bases seem to kind of mimic the abilities of the faction themselves, which is really kind of fun. Right. Um, and then the Factory 436-1337, um, its ability is when the base scores, the winner gains one victory point for every five power that the player has there. In addition to the two that they already won. Yeah. So in first place. That's nice. It is. I mean, there's a huge it's incentive to become the first place um, winner of that base. Exactly. It may not seem like much because first place and second place get the same number of victor victory points. But if you can uh, if you can score that base, then and you have more than five points on there, which you would because it's only a, it's a twenty five point yeah. base, um, you have the potential to get a lot more victory points. Exactly. Exactly. So um, I like the robots. Um, they're one of my favorite factions from the the core game. Um, they're they're very powerful. I love using microbots, um, and I think that they're a lot of fun. They're they're very well paired um, with almost any other faction. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks. Thanks.